Now, I want to get into the meat of what we're going to be talking about. I want to talk about this black seed oil because it literally, um, as I was stating, when I put the oil on the bottoms of my feet, the next morning, I didn't have any of that coffee. The Lord told me to get some black seed oil, which we see right here, and some oregano. And this is oregano essential oil. And I mix them together and I'm going to do a tutorial so that you know how to do these things. I mix it in one of these bottles. This is a roller ball. And I applied it to my feet and literally by the next morning, I didn't have all of that coughing. I didn't have that tickle in my throat. And now I'm going to tell you why, because it becomes important for us to understand the power of black seed oil. So what is it? Black seed oil, um, it's a natural remedy. It has been around for, for many centuries and it's known for its remarkable um, health benefits. Um, it is derived from the Nigella sativa plant, which is native to Asia. And so when we talk about black seed, black seed oil is extracted from the seeds of the plant. So as you see here in the, the picture here, those are the seeds. And when it is extracted, it makes an oil. And so they also call this a black cumin seed, black cumin seed. Yes, you can use this in pill form. So there are many, there are different type, there are different forms of the uh, black seed oil um, that, or the black seed that you can get. One of the reasons why I like using it in the liquid form is because anytime you have it, um, when you are using, um, even like when we're taking vitamins, there is a, uh, our body has to, our digestive system has to break those pills down. And sometimes we don't always get the full benefit of what it is that we are taking. So one of the reasons why I like taking the essential oils is because they are immediately absorbed into our bloodstream. And so they begin to work a lot faster. So it just depends on whatever your um, what whatever your method is. There are some people that also ingest black seed oil. Now I have tried to ingest it um, when I first came across it a couple years ago, but I didn't. It was it, it was very very strong, and so for me, um, I just began to. I have a pain relief butter um, that I use, um, and so I, I I have it in that. Uh, yes, it's a hot, it's what we call a hot oil. And so for me, it was too strong for me to ingest it. But, but some people, they, they, they got them strong. <laughs> they, they have a strong esophagus, right? And, and they're able to, 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 to do those um, with, with no problem. That's not for me. And so that's the reason why I'm kind of giving us an overview of what the benefits are. Okay. Now, when we talk about um, the black seed oil, it is a powerhouse that is full of nutrients. And it was, it contains um, what we call a thymo. Let me see if I can get it correct. It's a thymo uh, kenone, thymo kenone. And this is a compound, again, that is known best for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. And so these properties actually make it a fantastic ally for boosting our immune system and also helping us to fight off infections. The other thing that's important is that it's rich in fatty acids like linolenic acid and also oleic acid. This becomes important because these two um, essential fatty acids, um, they actually contribute to uh, our skin and our hair health. And so I've even used um, black seed oil in um, hair products, um, put it in a spray bottle. Um, I'll mix it in. Um, I, I generally just kind of mix it in now with a, a hair oil um, that I already have, just a, a, a little bit, not a whole lot because it is a thicker um, and a heavier oil, and I don't want to clog my pores, but it is good for that. 
And people have reported that using black seed oil has helped them to, um, to has helped them with various skin conditions and improved their hair health and even boosted their overall energy levels, their overall energy levels. Okay. But the benefits don't stop there. Um, and I think that this was something else that I wasn't, I don't think immediately aware of until I did some more um, research after, you know, the Holy Spirit said, you know, I need you to, to put this on the bottom of your feet, but it also aids in digestion. So it helps our digestive system. It also helps to alleviate asthma symptoms. And for some, it also helps with weight loss efforts, weight loss efforts. So it's a very versatile oil. Um, it's a popular choice, um, especially, you know, here the, the last couple of years that I know of um, when we talk about alternative medicine. Now, there's also, it, it also becomes important for us to understand the precautions, the precautions. And so if you are um, pregnant um, and you are, are breastfeeding, um, you want to make sure that you are taking the necessary precautions. Yes, yes, weight loss, weight loss. Um, if there is an, an, any type of allergy alert, you want to be mindful, uh, mindful of that. You also want to look at any medical um, interactions, any medical interactions. Um, it may interact with certain medications. Um, including like blood thinners, um, blood sugar, uh, lowering drugs. So again, as you see scrolling across the bottom of the screen here is that you always want to make sure that you are consulting your healthcare provider before using it if you are on a medication. Um, there are also um, surgery concerns. Like most um, surgeries, before you go into surgery, they will have you to stop taking um, any medications, um, um, prescriptions, or anything like that. This also goes for, for natural um, supplements as well. So you want to make sure that you stop using black seed oil at least two weeks before a scheduled surgery as it could affect your blood sugar control during and after surgery. And then the last would be just the general um, usage frequency. Again, I told you I've been using mine um, twice a day. Again, just rolling it, um, the rollerball um, on the bottoms of my feet um, in the morning and at night. But if you're going to take it, if you're going to ingest it, the recommendation is one to three teaspoons per day. And so you always want to make sure that you start with a lower doses so that you can see how your body actually reacts to it. So what have you learned concerning black seed oil so far? You have learned that it boosts your immunity. So it's going to help your body to fight off germs, um, that it is good for skin, meaning that it's going to keep your skin healthy and glowing. It helps with allergies by reducing um, sneezing and the, the itching from, um, from allergies, which I told you guys, was, which is what I was experiencing with the cough and having that itchy throat. Um, it, it, literally, it, I didn't have that the next morning and I actually have not had it since. And I do, the only prescription pill that I take is an allergy pill, an allergy pill. Um, and I take ibuprofen monthly, okay? Those are the only prescription medications that I take. Since I've been using this, I have not had any allergy pills. I haven't had any. And so it's been almost, two, it's been two weeks. Tomorrow night will be two weeks. I haven't had any allergy pills. 